such a look at this? I can't believe they sent us that notice. This looks like a perfectly stable bridge to me. I have no clue what the inspectors are talking about. Unsuitable infrastructure? Just because it doesn't have any beams holding up the actual bridge. Oh, hi, birdie. Oh, you're pretty. Doesn't mean that the whole thing is gonna collapse. Most likely, perhaps. Perhaps. But, well, we're in trouble, intern. We received some official notices that we have to get this bridge more structurally sound. Or else we're gonna have a huge fine on our hands. And that is just not acceptable. So I guess we've got a little bit of work to do, but you know what? That works out just fine. Because I was thinking we could do something really awesome with this area anyway. It's about time we got, like, the two parts of the zoo connected somehow, too. And we're getting awful close to being able to do that. Ah, <sighs> so let's make the inspectors happy and finish up getting this bridge taken care of, eh? Alright, let's get some planning done. I think we're gonna need if we're able to, to smooth out this area. There we go. Can't get rid of the wetlands. The wetlands are protected, by the way. I received the official notice that let me know that's why we weren't able to do anything with that. Because, you know, the wetlands are kind of a protected zone. So that totally explains why we were not able to do anything more with this area. Now let's see. Let's get all this out of the way. Sell these trees off. We've got plenty of trees we don't need to worry about keeping them all together anymore. Yeah, there we go. Alright, intern. Where's that book? We've pawed through it so many times. You think we'd remember the basics of Bridge 101, but there you have it. It's always new skills to learn. Hmm, let's see what we want to bring. The path down. A little too early though because it'll cut off some of the area. Well, I don't know. Yeah, let's extend the path a little bit. So let's scooch it out some in turn. Nice and gentle there. Aren't you going to be so glad that you got these uh, more tricky skills taken care of while you were here with us instead of having to go off to your own zoo and be an awesome zoo management person there? Let's see. Let's get this. Closed off and see what we can do to make all the mistakes there. Nope, no mistakes there. We're gonna help you out because that's part of our job, and that's why being our intern is a good thing, isn't it? Isn't it? You love being our intern. I mean, it's not like evaluations are coming up, and apparently, I'm on them to see how I've been training the new people <laughs> or anything like that. I mean, that's not occurring, so don't you worry about it. Don't you worry about it at all. But if anyone does happen to ask you how I've been doing, um, clearly, clearly you're going to tell them I've been awesome to you, right? Because I, I, I've been totally awesome. You know I have. I've had your back this whole time. We're in this together. Besides, um, you know, I, I have that data. I, I do. Uh, it's not like I was snooping or anything, but... Really, you shouldn't be visiting those websites on company computers anyway. Not like that's a threat. Blackmail. Anyway, let's get back to this bridge, huh? Yeah, look at the bridge. There we go. There, much better. Plenty of beams and stuff down there. In fact, too many. I bet the inspectors won't be too angry if we remove just a few of them. Just a few. I don't want to take many. Just a few. I'm sure that'll make those hoity-toity structural engineers more pleased with what we had. There we go. See, that's plenty. Two pieces there, two pieces there. What more does a branch need, honestly? Alright. There we go. That was fantastic, intern. Good job. a little bit too. I think we can scoot these viewing platforms over. You know, just make the area nice, because I have big plans for this spot over here. And I have a feeling once we get this spot populated with some more animals, then we'll have people come crawling across our bridge more eagerly. 
Also, we might, like, make a connection for the Skytram over here and extend the Jeep somewhat. That should be good. I mean, the Jeep could probably go into more areas. I'm hesitant to put it through the Velociraptor zone, though. No, I just don't think that's a good idea. just don't think that's a good idea at all. Alright. Alright! So what do you guys- what do you think, in turn, we should put over here? Hmm. I know what I think we're gonna put over here. People are slowly meandering. The cave lion. Cave lion would totally be the best thing to put in here. Now do we have... Do we have... Yeah, we researched the cave lion, didn't we? Yes, we did! Oh, and there it is! Alright. Let's do this. It's just a little bit of complex genetic algorithm. It's not like... Let's see. Whoa! Okay. Jeez. Oh. Science can be so merciless, it just doesn't give you opportunities when you're doing things like this to fix your mistakes. Phew! Let's see. Ooh, I think we're getting better at this, though. Of course I had to say something. <gasps> it's a baby! Cave lion! Look at it! A female! Fantastic! On an alpine biome, eh? Well, we're gonna put her right over here. Oh, that's so cool! Oh, she's gonna be so awesome! Let's make sure we prep her new area some. Biome that means we need to get rid of these trees. Out you go, trees. Oh, Red Panda 2 has died of old age. Goodness, our Red Pandas don't live very long. We might have to clear out that area soon. Now, there we go. Beaky needs more space. Beaky! Beaky, get out of the corner, and you should be okay. Oh. It's a good thing that the zookeepers text message me so much about these things, though. We need to stay on top of it. Alright, speaking of getting on top of things, let's do this! Let's see, stone wall, concrete fence, I'm thinking... let's do the stone wall again. Make a nice little alpine corner. Tina's pregnant again, oh my gosh. I swear. You know, the journals warned me that dodos might breed a lot, but we have not had nearly the issue with dodos that we have. Let's see... Let's do this. Yeah, and then we can turn this area into kind of like an education. And let's add another restaurant. It's about time some, you know, we had some more room for people to eat and whatnot. Hmm. Might need to make the cave lion exhibit a little bit bigger now that I think about it. Hmm. Mm hmm. There we go. Hola! There we go, because we're going to get her a mate. They're just so much happier with a friend. I don't blame you. It sucks being alone. Speaking of which, intern, sorry that you have to be down here in Brazil and so far away from your family <laughs> for so long, but, you know, that's the way that these kinds of jobs go. Okay, there we go. And let's do this. Tundra, tundra. Where's our tundra sand? Let's see. Woo! Actually, we don't want tundra. We want Alpine. What am I thinking? Oh, there we go. Much better. Gotta get these new grass plots planted in. Let it take off. I know it seems odd in turn when we put all the grass down and then we turn around and remove some of it. But this is all about trying to provide a more realistic natural environment. Ooh, guests love the zoo! Must we must be hitting, like, the ratings again. It was so nice that we got featured in that magazine. Though I'm sorry that your picture got obscured. You really shouldn't have stood behind that sign like that. Totally not my fault that I was holding up the sign at the time, but there you go. I mean, the people who matter know that you've been putting in the hard time and, and work into everything here. Don't worry. Let's see, cave lion. Do you really need that cave lion? Hmm. 
It's just a wee little thing again. And it's just uh do 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 do. There you go, Mr. Cave Lion. Miss Cave Lion even. Alright, what kind of environment do we need to stick her in? A raised sleeping platform sounds amazing. I think that the lions just enjoy the raised sleeping platform more, but it's a cave lion! So perhaps we should have the cave. Because it's a cave lion! Hmm. Further away... Yeah, let's put the cave back here. Which means it will be a little tricky for guests to see, but you know what? It's not always about the guests. I don't care what people say. It's about making sure that our animals have a relaxing and safe enclosure that they can go into as well. There we go. Put some trees, lots of trees. Oh, trees are always so good. They're so pretty. Look at the trees. Ooh. Okay, gotta be good. Not too many trees. We've learned our lesson. We can do this. We can do this. Not too many trees. Let's just tuck you there and switch you there. Over here, over here. Hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, so pretty. So pretty, but hopefully this won't be too many trees. We're trying to not overdo the trees. I swear. Okay, okay, okay. I'll stop ordering trees. Now let's get... Let's see, Larkspur. Let's get down here so we can see these plants from the greenhouse. This one is Alpine Sea Holly. Ooh, and Speargrass. Oh, lots of fun little things. Well, why don't we put some Speargrass? Kind of like... Over here, perhaps? Like that? Ah, bah. I hate it when you can't put them like right next to each other. Let's see. There we go. Yeah, put some spear press over. Ah, dang it. Apparently they're very fussy about what root systems are allowed to be put down. There. And then let's see, a little bit of elder wisp, maybe. Tucked in the corners. Some Larkspur. Ooh, the saber tooth cats are starting to grow up. We might need to find homes for them then. I don't know if they get along like in big groups, so we don't want to stress them out by having too many. There we go. Ah! Yeah, just a little more elder wisp, kind of sprinkled about. Ah! Silly root system! So fussy! So fussy about their space. Jeez. Whoops. Okay. Sprinkle a little bit of alpine sea holly. We don't want to keep the baby stuck inside inside the box forever. Let's see. Woo! Put some rocks. Put some rocks around here. Give her a rock there. Hmm, sprinkle a rock over there. Yeah, here a rock, there a rock, everywhere some rocks. Important for their happiness. Nope, wrong place to put a rock. Honestly, in turn, it's not that hard. Put the rock inside the enclosure, not outside of it. Now, food. Okay, lion, let's put down some options for fish. Over here. Options for meat, more like over here by the forest. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. There we go. Whoops. Nope. Too close to the flowers. There we go. And some options for water. Already has some drinking water, but it's always good to have a little bit of backup. But we'll tuck it over here so guests don't have to look at it. Alright. Let's give her some toys. Glacier would take up too much room. Ooh, but the post with the ice is always very popular. People love watching that. Let's see. Squeak toy. Put in some live food. A couple things of live food. Arctic cod. Mmm. That is live food that goes into the lake, if I am not mistaken. A ball with a rattle. A pursuit ball. 
And that should be good. Alright. We'll release the cave lion baby. Also, let's give her her name. What? Space, satisfied, biome, critical. What's wrong with it? Nope, she's good. Okay. Good, good, good. I'm glad that she's happy. Let's name her Miranda. Hi, Miranda. Welcome to the world, little baby cave lion. Now let's make sure that... Oh, she's gonna be so popular. Let's make her, like, super duper popular. Oops. I just realized we did something silly! Oh, intern, haven't you learned by now? Nobody can see through the stone wall, so if we're gonna do something like that... There, much better. Now people can see through it. Yay! Also, let's move this so people can come and walk by her enclosure and see what's up. Alright, here we go! Little baby Miranda, she's so cute. Let's see. And let's add a restaurant and some bathrooms over on this side so that people have something to eat. I wonder what we should sell in this restaurant. Let's see. Hmm. Other fancy pants? Do you think we, we're getting high quality enough that we can demand another fancy restaurant? How's our other fancy restaurant doing? Doing pretty good. Doing pretty good. Better than the cheap one, actually. Yeah, I think we can open up another branch of the cat poop coffee cafe over here. And have people meet that demand. Let's see, should we put it right here? Right here? Yeah, let's put it right here. And then we can put that there. But our goal in this, this is a zoo of education after all. And let's put this like right there. Just so people can kind of come up and enjoy it. In fact, let's see. Intern, get out the good old shovel. And let's see if we can... Nink, 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 nink. Ha ha! There, people have a little hill to go on now. That's adorable. We'll even put some of the, like, elder wisps around here. There we go. There, there. Voila! Mm, we'll take away the rest of those to add some variety, actually. Let's set those back. And... There! Cat Poop Coffee number two. Restaurant is open. Hmm, what do we want to go down here? Not Arctic Moss, honestly. African Violence? No, I think these daisies are actually doing quite well. In fact, I kind of want to sneak a couple into there. Go. Oh, look, there's one of the life lizard foods. Oh, Miranda, your enclosure is fantastic. We'll spend some time with you in just a second. We gotta try to keep convincing people to work their way across the bridge to see you. And of course, once they're here, <laughs> to sit back and enjoy. Let's hire another zookeeper. Alright, Keeper Crackbium. You're assigned here, and here, and we'll put another gate on this side so that you don't have to hoof it all the way across the bridge. There you go. And... <gasps> Ooh, a stone arch! Oh, that could be so cool! Like, people could come down and be a stone arch instead of these things, like they're coming into a themed part. Ooh, and we could put, like, one of these really big fountains over here. The lion fountain for the cave lion! Ooh! Out of the way, keeper! Yeah, we could do that. What? What? How did you get out? Um... Oh! Knuckle buckets! Knuckle buckets, indeed! What? Holy moly days! Not good! Not good! Get out of the enclosure! Oh, jeez. Hey! Hey! Hey you! 
Oh, it's making a run for it. Ah, freaking stuck in something. You, where do you think you're going? Calm down, it's okay. It's okay. Oh man, look at this mess. Everyone, please. Remain calm. I am unsure what calamity has occurred, but we will be correcting this. Please remove yourselves from the enclosure. Oh jeez, we had a jailbreak. It was supposed to be all about Miranda today, but that's how a zoo goes, I suppose. Excuse me. Please, uh, excuse yourselves. Come here, please, ma'am. There you go. Okay, Dodo 7, I think you're fine, honestly. Um, there you go. Nice to know we have- what are you guys doing over here? So the rhinos have decided to meander over here, so they've figured it out. And now this half is like totally- oh man, and we lost half a star, oh, oh dear. You just- you know that we're gonna have quite a few, uh, unpleasant staff meetings about this. At least a new elephant bird hatched. Let's toss a few of you guys over here. Come on, Einstein. You're one of the ones who figured it out on how to get over here, so... Get over here, rhinoceroses. We need people to be here for the jeep tours. Oh, goodness. That was just chaotic. That was just chaotic. I'm sorry, Miranda. We were in the middle of decorating your spot and getting everything flowing and going. Try to use a rock down there. Oops, somebody went into the, the restaurant. Let's see. Let's put a zoo map. And let's put some benches out. Ooh, a safari bench. Fascinating. You know, just some spots for people to sit and relax. And where's my donation boxes? For Miranda. There we go. Actually, let's scoot these over a little bit. Ugh. Man, we're gonna have to have a meeting. We lost our stars. So sad. Oh, yay, it's back! Good! Maybe we won't get chewed out too badly by the bosses. It's just always kind of not a good thing when you have your fencing erode and explode like that. Nope, never a good thing. Let's see, can't do that. So let's talk you like... Hmm give people an option and let's put some bathrooms in real quick and then we'll spend a little bit of time with Miranda because she's been so patient pony rides photo booths extinct gift card maybe face painting oh that sounds so fun reptile house I really want a reptile house yeah the reptile house would fit over here that'd be so cool ah. We should probably scooch it down just a little bit. Let's put the reptile house. No, no, no. I think we can put it right there. Why not? Why not? I'm not gonna have people fuss at me about where they can view the awesome reptiles. Let's see. I love reptiles. They're just so cool. I mean, look at them. Hi, little guy. How are you today? How are you? Oh, look at that king cobra. Oh, look at you. You're so tough, huh? So tough. Oh, this little turtle. Oh, so cute. Hmm. Wow. And there's people starting to come down. And people dancing. Oh, oh. Excuse me, sir. Could you please tell us why you're unhappy? Oh, you need an ATM, sir? Well, I'm going to direct you to an ATM that we currently have. That's a wonderful problem to have in this zoo, sir. We really appreciate it. 
Yes, this is the current ATM we do have. And I promise I will get another ATM installed right away. That's an excellent problem to have, sir. I like hearing that. I want to get more money out of the bank, but I can't because I can't find an ATM. Well, we can fix that. Oh, yeah. Let's see, where's the ATM? Let's see, put in a registration for another ATM. Yeah, we'll do that. Um, maybe tuck it over here so it doesn't look quite so tacky. See, it's gotten dark again in turn. We really need to do something about how dark it gets. Let's see. And we need to toss a family restroom somewhere. Possibly right here for now? Back here? Back here? I think back here is going to be okay. I just hope that people will please stay out of the wetlands. That's just not a good idea. Never a good idea. There's leeches and all sorts of things involved. In fact, I'm concerned for the safety of our public, so... Wait, wait, wait. There we go. Hmm. Mm hmm. That's kind of weird looking. But not from down here. So we'll let that be for now. And maybe get another cypress tree. Cypress tree, even. Put a tree there. Ooh, look at all that. Look at the papyrus. Pretty things, pretty things. There we go. And he's quite happy. That was apparently timely, as that gentleman did need to use the restroom. Look at everybody. Aww. Yeah, look. Loves the gazebo and the bathroom. Loves the music. Enjoyed eating at the fantasy restaurant. Don't like the zoo. Aww. But you did like the reptiles. Glad to hear it. Whew. Well, in turn, that was a full day's work, that's for sure. Oh, look at the cool fountain. Let's go in and check on Miranda. Our new little star. Where are you, sweetheart? Oh, look how pretty all your space is. Mm -hmm. Quite happy with how this turned out. <gasps> Miranda! Hi! Look, there goes your live food. Are you going to chase your, your lizard? No? Oh, look at her go. There's another lizard for you to chase. Oh, she just seems so happy. <gasps> oh, she's playing with the pursuit ball. Oh, look at her roar. Oh, you're so cute. You're so cute. Are you lonely? No, no, she seems to be okay right now. Well, she's definitely a fantastic addition to the zoo. Look at all the people who are coming all the way over here and finding this awesome new area that we've constructed just because they want to see what she's up to, huh? Oh, that's fantastic. That is just fantastic. Well, intern, it's been a long day. You know, with escaping dinosaurs, I think we might have to address the infrastructure for our stronger dinosaurs after this. Woo! Is that so, baby girl? Is that so? And <laughs> not to mention we should enjoy hanging out with Miranda in her enclosure while it's still safe to do so. There goes her food. Alright, next time we will have to go back into our genetics lab and get Miranda a companion. Until later, baby! Bye-bye, cutie pie!